Hey guys, what's going on? Spipbrix here, back for another LEGO Ninjago video. And believe it or not, there are already companies knocking off the brand new season sets for LEGO Ninjago Season 9 Hunted. All those sets we have for Summer 2018, there are already companies putting the logo on their boxes and creating sets that look very similar to the sets that we have officially that were put out by LEGO. It's crazy how fast these overseas companies can start producing these knockoff sets and start selling them out to make a profit. Now we do know that a lot of different companies will simply just reproduce the Lego sets, most notably Lepin we all know, but there are different brands or different companies I should say that make kind of their own but spin it off of the sets in a certain way and so in this video we're going to be comparing some of these various knockoff Ninjago sets for this season of Ninjago to the official sets that LEGO has produced. We may as well start off with the fake set that you've already seen on the screen for this intro and that is the one over on the left here. All the fake sets for this video are on the left and all the real ones are on the right. You guys can see that the packaging up on the top left is Wu, the Golden Dragon Master, so they have embraced that season 9 feel into their box designs. Now as for the build, you guys can see it appears to be some sort of Stormbringer head, but they did not take the time to update their minifigure. They still have the season 8 uniform on that J minifigure there, as well as the very old ninja wrap piece, the one that's all one piece that goes over the minifigure head. I think that's pretty interesting there, just shows how fast this company is working to get this set out so that they can start having people buying them. They didn't even care to update the minifigure in it, which to be honest is probably everyone's, you know, favorite part of Ninjago and any sort of Lego sets in general. So that's a pretty interesting technique that they're going after there. But let's be honest, it's just a dragon head. Looks pretty weird. I'm not really sure if a dragon head is supposed to fly on its own, but then again, these are knockoff sets, so who really knows? And since we're talking about the Stormbringer Dragon with this knockoff set, I think it's very appropriate to let you guys know and remind you of my giveaway that I'm doing for Summer 2018. It ends in just about one week, so you guys do not have much time, but be sure to enter if you guys have not. All the rules are on the screen right now, and there's also more information down below. If you win, the one lucky winner will win the brand new Stormbringer Dragon set, so be sure to check that out, and without further ado, let's go ahead and continue here. The next fake Ninjago set is a knockoff of the Firstborn Dragon, so just like the knockoff of the Stormbringer Dragon which we just looked at, the build of this fake set is well just the Firstborn's head, in a micro scale I guess you could say. At least this one has some sort of wings present, you guys can see those pieces, those gold pieces that go out to the sides. This one looks a bit better I have to admit than the Stormbringer one, but once again, definitely not an updated minifigure. There is a still a very old Kai minifigure there with the very old ninja wrap as well. So very interesting strategy once again, and let's go ahead and move on. Now those were the two real versus fake that I wanted to feature in this video, but what gets really interesting here is that those two sets that you just saw were part of a group of six. On the website that I found these on, they advertise this as a six in one. So like six mini sets, and if you put them all together, you make this weird thing here in the middle. I guess it's like a mech, I'm not exactly sure. All I know is that it's weird, and it's just one of those gimmicks that these sort of fake knockoff companies do, just saying like, you know, you buy all six of these and then you can make this, and it's just some random thing that they put all the pieces together. Anyways, some of these other ones are really weird. So let's go ahead and check out these two. We have Zane's and Cole's. Zane's on the left is very weird. He has stud shooters on the back, and I'm not exactly sure what to call his vehicle, to call it like a go-kart or some sort of mining trolley, some sort of build like that. I don't even know. Be sure to let me know down below what you guys think it is. And over on the right, we have some sort of glider for Cole. Once again, a very, very bad build. I mean, really anybody could put just random Lego pieces together and make a better set than this. Has a pretty decent color combination on it, but once again, an old Lego minifigure, and yet they're still using the brand new artwork on the boxes that they have there for Season 9, even though their minifigures are definitely not Ninjago hunted minifigures. But of course, that's not all. We still have these two left. We have Nia's on the left, which I have to admit is probably the best out of all these. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe the knockoff of the Firstborn. But here's Nia's, some sort of go-kart and has a really huge transparent orange colored motor on the back. 
It kind of just like sticks up there randomly. Yeah, I don't really know. It's kind of weird. And then we have Lloyd's contraption there, which I don't know if that's supposed to be a boat, if that's supposed to be a glider, you know, if that's supposed to be like a speeder, kind of like in Star Wars, or any sort of vehicle like that that hovers above the ground. I don't know, obviously, doesn't really give that much context, but there's that one, I guess. And you know, if you buy all six of these, you can build this amazing mech here in the middle. But yeah, I just really wanted to put this video together because I just wanted to show you guys just how weird these knockoffs can get and how desperate these companies are to put out stuff, to update their graphics, even if their minifigures and builds aren't really appropriate for the season, like they don't really match up. I mean, even with the dragons that we saw, the real versus fake, they don't even hardly look like the dragons, and yet they're advertising it as a Ninjago Season 9 or a Ninjago Summer 2018 set, that's what they'll call them. I just think it's really crazy, but if you guys like buying these fake knockoff sets, that's totally fine. I'm not trying to discourage you from buying them. I'm just letting you guys know and maybe, you know, making guys aware of what these companies are. But like I said, you guys can have your very own opinions. That's totally fine. That's pretty much it though for this video. Subscribe to my channel so you guys do not miss out on any other LEGO Ninjago content. And as always, turn on notifications so you guys do not miss out on any other LEGO action. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. Have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video coming very soon.